Yo, Red here with your weekly TWAB video. In this week's TWAB, they go over some Gambit quality of life changes. Some of them being that they've added a freelance node. Uh, you won't lose as many moats when you die. Just little changes that are going to help the mode. Not many big changes, in my opinion. You can now focus the engrams you get from the vendors, which is huge. So you don't have to hope and beg that you get a servant leader. Because you can just go farm them out with the engrams. Love that change. Uh, some more like Gambit Lab Invasion Edition changes. There'll be a link in the description if you want to read through all this. They preview the core activity armor pieces that you'll be able to get from this year. Uh, all of them just have little decal changes. The base designs of the armor will be the same throughout all of the different core activities. That being Crucible, Vanguard Strikes and Gambit. All look very nice indeed. They also showcase the Eververse armor set, which looks so good, based on the Void subclass, with all the glowy effects, looks amazing, really hope that they shade well. Oh my god, they look so good. Uh, season pass changes, the high stat armor is returning, they're removing some things, adding some things. Rule way will no longer give you XP. So you ain't going to be able to farm this out or AFK farm it out anymore, which is great. And they've adjusted some bomb, some boss stomp mechanics. So if you get stomped into a wall, you may not die, which is also good to see. And if you're on Twitch, if you're a Twitch streamer, uh, you get this emblem if you gift two subs to your favorite Twitch streamer. It's a very cool emblem. So go support your favorite Twitch streamer who streams the game. Uh, this will go live with the Witch Queen's release as well. Uh, and then they've got scheduled release times for Witch Queen and when servers will go offline and back online, as they usually do. Uh, and yeah, we've also got Wayfinder's Compass Rotations, if you care about that. Some details on the Exorcism mission that is giving double perk rewards for the weapons that it drops. So if you need a last minute god roll weapon from this season, you can go and farm that out. Oh, yeah, that's just mentioning that certain weapons will be leaving with witch queen because they're tied to the seasons and stuff uh and yeah that's everything be sure to like comment and subscribe for more twab tldr breakdown videos and stuff i'll also be live streaming live on youtube when witch queen goes live so be sure to turn notifications on so you know when that happens peace